I am sure by now you guys all know the positive benefits of blogging, but one of the hardest, most difficult parts of blogging is how to come up with content ideas. So what subjects do you want to cover? What questions are people asking within your niche? All of those questions and more are really, really difficult to answer when you're coming up with new content consistently. So luckily there's a very handy tool that exactly shows you what people are asking within your niche. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use it in order to find subjects and keywords to create your content around. The tool is called Answer the Public. You're going to learn all about that and more coming up. Hey guys, Darren Taylor of TheBigMarketer.com here and my job is to make you a better marketer. Now if that sounds up your street, you should consider subscribing to my channel. And in this video, we are looking at the tool called Answer the Public. It's a great tool that allows you to come up with subjects to blog on for your industry niche. So first of all, what is Answer the Public? Well, as I said, it's essentially a keyword research tool. It aggregates a ton of data from Google and Bing in terms of what people are searching for using the results from AutoSuggest. So imagine every question that people are asking in your industry, Google logs it every single time. And when you go to Google and type in a question, you will notice that in AutoSuggest, it comes up with a ton of questions people are asking around that subject. So aggregating all of that data is exactly what Answer the Public does. So it takes all of that information and puts it into three distinct categories. Those three categories are questions, prepositions, and also comparisons. So to give you some examples of that, a question is pretty much self-explanatory. People asking questions within your niche, all of that data is shown to you within the tool. In addition to that, a preposition is essentially just a statement around different things within your industry. And then finally, of course, comparisons. So an example of a comparison could be things like Salesforce versus Zoho, for example, as a CRM comparison. So that gives you a lot of ammunition to write brands new content. So now we've got that part out of the way. What I'm going to do right now is jump on to answer the public and exactly show you how to use the tool and the interesting things and subjects and topics you can come up with in pretty much any niche out there. I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay guys, so a quick demo of answer the public. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to answer the public and I'm just going to go to Google and type in answer the public. Top results, answerthepublic.com, head over there. You'll get the nice landing page with the video in the background. And what you want to do is go down a little bit and you'll see a search box down here. Now you'll see the language is English. You can change the language here. You can change the region specifically if you want to know what people are searching for in your immediate region. So say, for example, I put in English, maybe I want to choose a different region like United States or United Kingdom, essentially the country you want to find out what people are typing into Google about your niche. You can do that here, but because it's the professional version only, unfortunately, you can't do that with the free version. But that's OK, because the free version gives you tons of insight anyway. So you'll notice here is the keyword box and you'll notice I've put in a couple of keywords myself recently. Um, so you can see here it will suggest content and ideas to you in seconds. So let's go with my old favorite example of a plumber. So I'm going to type in something along the lines of replace boiler. So I'm going to get the questions for replace boiler. So if you're a plumber and you do boiler replacements in homes, then people are likely going to be searching for things around the subject of boiler replacement before they actually find someone to do it. So in this example, let's find out what the tool finds for us. Now, again, as I say, the tool pulls data from Google and Bing in terms of their also suggest, and you'll see all the questions when you go to the search results page and it aggregates all of that data across a ton of subjects and it comes up with the results. So now the results are here we are going to see some different diagrams. Now you'll see here, I mentioned there are three categories um, in terms of what this tool pulls in. So you'll see, first of all, you've got 66 questions. You can view that in kind of a mind map here. And if you don't like the way this looks and you find it a bit frustrating, you can click on the data instead. So it makes it a lot more simplified and you can see the data of how people ask different things around boilers. So can I replace boiler fan myself? 
things like that. Now, of course, if you're a, if you're a plumber and you do boiler installations, you'd want to answer that kind of content question saying, no, you shouldn't rep replace your boiler yourself. There's gas dangers. You need to be registered as a tradesman to do that. Um, so there's a number of different content ideas you can come up with and you can see all the different types of questions. How, can, what, when, where, all of the different subjects. So you can see here, this is a ton of content ideas. It's, a, it's an absolute goldmine of content. So you'll see these are all the questions. Now, if you go further down, you have what I mentioned, prepositions. So again, it's a term that means essentially a statement. So not, not something asking a question. It's kind of just saying a statement. So you'll say replace oil boiler with heat pump or things like that. You can see all the different subjects around that term. And what you can also do again with this is go to data and with the data view, the same thing goes on. So you can see can, for, is, to, near, with. So these are the kind of more selling terms because they're kind of what people would type in to some degree when they're closer down the buying cycle. So you've got the right at the top, you've got the questions. Next, you've got the kind of ideas around people who I guess are closer down the buying cycle. So replace boiler and radiators, all these different kinds of things. You can see all these different subjects you could potentially create content for and they're great ideas. Now, if I go back to the visualization view, you can click into these individually and it will show you exactly what that search term happens on Google. So you can see in your in your region, the kind of search results you can see for the term you've clicked, which is really, really handy because it gives you an interesting idea of who the big players are who are targeting the same terms you are. So of course you wanna be in what's known as position zero, answering the question directly on Google, which is above position one, and you can kind of start doing your due diligence at this stage and kind of seeing what the kind of authoritativeness of your competitors are and seeing if you can beat them to this spot and become the number one result on the search results page. So if we go back to the tool, let's finish off prepositions. And again, let's go back to the data view. And further down, you have got comparisons. Now, this can be really interesting if you want to get somebody, again, who is definitely still in the buying cycle because they're comparing different types of solutions for, I guess, their issues. So it works better with some subjects than others. You will see here, it's not really working that well for boiler replacement. This works really well for when people compare different solutions. So maybe you work in the software industry and you're, you're kind of looking at what people are comparing and you, are, you wanna present your product when people are doing those searches. Now, this can be really powerful. In this particular instance, not so powerful, but you can get an idea of the kinds of comparisons and again, if we go to the data view, you can see and, like, or, and you can see these are the kind of comparison terms, and, like, and, or. And what can happen as well, you've got verses and verses with a VS, so you can kind of see the comparison terminology people use when researching products and services. And then you've got the whole list in terms of alphabetical, every single search term that it's come up with in alphabetical order. And it's a great way to kind of understand what people are typing in and you can pick out some really interesting insights from this list and you can again you can click into them go to the image you can kind of see what the kind of visualization of that kind of mind map is as well and it's really really handy and i think from a keyword research point of view because the list is so is, is so long there's not a huge amount of specific search data for this even with the google keyword planner and other tools out there but the idea is these are terms being typed into Google. This is data taken from Google. So even before you start, you know people are searching for these terms. So either way, you're in good hands if you use this list and use it to build your content. So that's um, Answer the Public in a nutshell. And I'm sure you guys will go on and use this tool because it's extremely powerful. And the best part is as well, well, not necessarily the best part, but you can download everything in a CSV file as well. So if you want to look at the data in Excel, maybe you're a bit of an Excel whiz, you can download that data too. And you can bring it across and let's have a look. And you can see all of the different questions in alphabetical order with the prepositions, the questions, comparisons and alphabetical as well. And you've got a ton of subjects to create. And in fact, I can see one here. If I was a plumber and like I am now a YouTuber, I'd probably want to do this boiler install video because that's going to instill a ton of confidence in people who are looking to get a new boiler because it will show that you can do the job and that you're competent 
Um, so yeah, just go ahead, use the tool, see what you can come up with and really use it to nail down your content strategy. And it doesn't just have to work in terms of blogging, it can work on YouTube as well as the second biggest search engine. And it's something I use myself when researching topics too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like below. Let me know in the comments if this is something new you've never seen before or whether it's something you use to great, great success in terms of your marketing campaigns. More important than that, check out the other content on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video.